Hi, I'm Sylvia Gordon. And I'm Rebecca Gordon. This issue is going to be a little bit dry. We're going to talk about Social Security and the two ways that you can get a do-over. With your partner. You need to know it. It's not fun. Just put your feet up and watch it anyway. So let's let's get into it. So let's say that we have a, a, a client and maybe they had a life-changing event. Maybe they came into some inheritance, they got a job, maybe they decided they signed up for social uh, for Part B too soon. Social Security. Social Security too early. And, and they went out. Somebody finally told them, why'd you take it at 62? You can yeah. make a whole bunch more money if you wait. You don't need the money. So they're like, oh, oh, okay. I went out. How do help, I get out? Help me fix this. Can they get a do-over? They can't get a do-over. So there's two types of do-overs. This one is that we're going to talk about. It's called revoking it. The other one is suspending it. So if you want to revoke, what you need to do is you fill out a form. You have one year from the time that you sign up to exercise to revoke that social security. Okay, so first of all, you will need this form. Ask us in the comments if you want us to email you this form. You should all ask us for this because you should all have it in your portfolio so you're not fumbling around for a couple days trying to find it when you stumble upon this client. That made the mistake and took it too early. And you have to pay back everything that you've gotten thus far. However, in paying everything back, you are not penalized oh, or charged money. any interest. Yeah, so that's good. No you penalty, get no your interest. money back. Pay it back, make them whole. You gotta do it that first year. You can start over later. Do the form, you're good. I always like to throw my money, it makes me happy. But what happens if, or what's the other one, if you're gonna suspend it? Okay, so don't, I don't wanna go to suspension. Let's talk about your family benefits. So, I think that falls under. So, suspension. the whole thing. If I, if I take my benefits, then my spouse that's drawing off me. If I'm married and I stop, stops from my spouse and my kids. What if I'm divorced? The person keeps getting their benefits. The divorced spouse can continue to draw their benefits. They couldn't start unless I started mine. So I, I had a client, this was years ago, but he hated his ex-wife. And he did not want to start drawing Social Security because if he did, she could draw hers and he just wanted to make her life hell. So he refused to take hers. So nice. she then is calling another agent that works with us going, hey, help me. And there's nothing I can do. She uh -huh. can't draw unless he decided to file. If he did file to take Social Security, and he took it. And he stopped. She can continue. She wins. It's just, this is kind of crazy stuff that makes you hate your job, and you're just like, I don't want to know all this stuff, but you got to know it. So if you if you have an event that you need to get a do-over on your Social Security. You get one year. How does that impact with Medicare? Let's say I have a client, and, and they're 66, and they want to get out of paying their social security. I'm gonna revoke it. How are they gonna pay for Medicare? What happens? So there's separate programs, so that's fine. It won't come out of their social security since they will no longer have social security. They will just have to pay Medicare directly for their Medicare Part B premiums. They'll pay that quarterly. So that's, that's, no, that's not a problem. Not a big deal. It's just, you know, it's just another piece of it's this puzzle layer. that you're trying to ah. separate. So to recap, you can revoke your benefits, wipe your slate clean in the first year, you have 12 months to do that. You have to fill out the form. Anything that you've received from Social Security, you have to pay it back. And if you have to pay taxes on it, ask about that in the comments, and we'll There's talk about the tax no credit. No penalties if you get it or anything. And then and when done. you reclaim Social Security later, you will get a larger benefit because you've delayed it, and you'll get more money later. Okay? So that's revocation. Now let's talk about the second type of do-over, which is suspension. suspension. So if it's been past a year, then you can't revoke it. But what can you do? You can suspend it, okay? As long as you're not yet 70, you can suspend it once, and what's the benefit of that? You get a higher payment when you reactivate it. And it'll automatically start back up at 70. Uh, yep. Okay, so if you waited past a year and you're like, oh man, I shouldn't have taken it. All right. I, I messed up. It's too late to revoke it to file the form. If it's been after a year. But you can still suspend it. So it's a different type of do-over. Mm -hmm and then it will automatically start back up at the age of 70. Easy. Okay, I know, most people have this probably dropped off the show at this point. If you have more questions about Social Security do-overs, ask us in the comments and we will be happy to give you some more in-depth information about this. So we are super excited today to have John Green with us again today. Thank you, the CEO of Crown. Hello. 
And I am thrilled with the changes that you guys have been making to this plan. Awesome. Um, for those of you who've been with us from the inception of our days with Altrua, starting, I think, in like 2016, I think especially since you've been on board and really taken the helm, um, the improvements have been astronomical. It's really thanks to everybody out there who listened to our surveys and told us the changes you wanted made to the Altrua HealthShare plans. Because of all your feedback and all the information you gave us, we've been able to make changes every few months. I want to take today, and that's why I was super thrilled that you guys are coming up here, to sunny Indiana. It's not sunny. <laughs> From sunny Texas. It's not real life, them living in Texas. <laughs> and going over the new changes, because I can't keep up with the changes, and you, you guys really hit on some things that... Got me excited, so. Well, we heard what you guys said about pre-authorizations, so we've now eliminated that. You are no longer required to call the ministry ahead of time to get pre-authorization from anything you wanna see. You can go to the doctors, you can see your, your providers, and then submit that medical need afterwards and we'll share any eligible medical need. We also heard what you said about cancer. Everyone was really scared about cancer and being able to share in cancer that first year, so now we've been made that available as well. There are some limits, but you'll see that all depending on the plan that you would choose. We've made changes also to maternity. So we're now sharing in maternity, depending on the plan that you select. So that's in the first year. And then we're- And I just wanna, because they, they had to explain this to me. You could enroll today mm -hmm. and conceive. conceive tomorrow. And you're gonna share. Correct, within the first 90 cool. days, I believe, depending on the plan you select. So it's very important to read those plan documents. We also share an adoption. We share in a lot of things with adoption. That's cool. Because we like the idea of families getting bigger and helping out kids. So all of the costs or a lot of the costs that, share, that go along with an adoption, the membership will share in those as well. Because we want to see cool. that membership continue to grow. Yeah, those are the big changes that we made. Oh, we changed the names. So the names are now gems. So it's diamond, sapphire, emerald, and ruby. Um, again, those are just new names for the old plans because we want to make sure we differentiate ourselves so no one considers that we actually are not insurance. We're a health share. So we want to make it very clear to everybody that we're different. My favorite enhancement is Minute Clinic because honestly, Minute Clinic is like my primary care doctor. I love it. I send my kids. I'll send my kids. Like if they're sick, I'm like, go to Minute Clinic versus going to our primary because they can go immediately. Yep. And we heard what everybody said about having access to providers around the country. So we have contracted with Minute Clinic. So we're now that is cool. recognized there and sharing in. We also are asking for the provider's name up front when you enroll so that we can reach out to them ahead of time to make sure they know that you're an Altrua HealthShare membership and how to submit medical needs to us. So we've made a lot of change to make that process easier too. So before we go, I just, I want to reiterate some of your um, major accomplishments. The average plan is staying on the books with our team, um, 24 months, and 70% of those folks who cancel their Altrua membership is due to what? They're getting a job. They got a Economy's job. Economy's good. They're getting a job. The company's paying for their insurance. Yeah. So that's why they don't need the health share. So a lot of good things going. Yeah. That's all we have for right now. I want you guys to go find out more of our videos on the Altrua Health Share and the expansions, the new benefits. We have a bunch more coming up, but I'm out of time and they're going to yank me off the stage. So go to my next video. See you soon. I have a question. Yes. What do you do after every sale? Hmm. Well, when I was a brand new agent, I would sit in the driveway and calculate my commission. Nice. And I got a feeling a lot of you were in the same thing because I have bills to pay. Mm -hmm. okay? I would listen to Ricky Martin. I would. Yeah. So what do you do well, after your sale? Because now I'm just, after my sale, I'm just thinking, okay, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this with my next sale. I'm going to follow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when the money was super tight, let us know what you do. That yeah, was what I was doing. It's pretty cool. I have a question from an agent in Ohio, and he asks me, why is Santa's sack so heavy? So if you know the answer, please let us know in the comments. If you are correct, I might have to take it all off offline to answer you privately. Hint, hint. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Jim, for that question. If you have a question you would like us to ask on the air next week let us know in the comments thank you for tuning in happy sales thanks for all you good do good selling field. your clients depend on you we depend on you thank you so thank much you. for working with us at gordon marketing see ya